Hi, my name is Jacob Ranellis, and I interviewed four-year-old Landon for my child experiment. Yeah. Okay. So what's your name? Landon. Landon, and how old are you? Four. Four? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. We're going to do a couple of experiments, a couple of fun games um, with money and with toys and stuff like that. We're just going to see just answer how you normally would, okay? Okay. So... First question I'm going to ask you is, uh, do you have a sibling? Do you have a brother or a sister? Yeah, I got a sister. You got a sister? Okay, what's her name? Um, Alisa. Alisa? Yeah. Okay, does Alisa have a brother or sister? Mm. No? Gotcha. Okay, so I got two toys. I got the Arbiter here. So I'm going to put them here. Okay, can you see the Arbiter? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put the robot over here. Can you see the robot? Yeah. Okay. So, can the robot and the Arbiter see each other? They can? Why? Why would you say they can see each other? I don't know. You don't know? Gotcha. Okay. But you think they can see each other right now? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so you got the sun and it keeps us warm, right? Because when the sun goes down, it's not as warm. So why is the sun hot? Because it's the warm. Because it's warm? Okay. Alright, so I got another question for you. So why is the sky blue? Because it turned it blue. Because it turned blue? Yeah. Why did it turn blue? How come it's not purple? Because... Because the, 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 the sun got blue. Gotcha, the sun got it blue? Oh, okay. See, that's a, that's a good hypothesis. So I got a question for you. Jimmy is called downstairs for dinner. He's excited because he's hungry for dinner when his mom calls him. So he runs down into the kitchen and he swings the door open into the kitchen. The door swings open and it knocks all the glasses on the counter down and breaks all of his mom's glasses. That's Jimmy. Now we got Alice. Alice tries to steal a cookie from the cookie jar while mom's not home. So she stands on a chair in the kitchen and while she's reaching for the cookie jar, she knocks down those 15 glasses and shatters them all. So who was more bad? Because they both did the same thing. They both broke the glasses. But who was more bad or were they the same? And why? Same. Really? How come? Okay. Here, I'll make it a little simpler. Okay, so let's say the husband's wife is John, alright, and Sally is his wife. Sally is dying and needs medicine. John doesn't have enough money for the medicine, so he steals the medicine so that she'll live, because if he doesn't steal it, then she'll die. So he stole the medicine. Should he have done that? Yeah? Why? You don't know? Okay, well, think about this. If he wouldn't have done it, she would have died. But it's also illegal to steal. So he stole it so she gets to live but you're also not supposed to steal. So you said he did the right thing. Why is that the right thing? Why wasn't it wrong of him to steal in that case? Because he needed to steal it. Okay. Good job. So we got two glasses of water, right? Okay, so which one has more water in it? Or are they the same? They're the same. They are the same? Okay, cool. So now, we're going to take this big one, okay? You said these two glasses of water are the same? Okay, so we're going to take one of those glasses of water, and we're going to pour all of it in here. There you go. Good job, bud. Do you need another one? No, no, we'll leave that one. We can get rid of this. Now, which one has more water in it? Or are they the same? They're, they're not the same. They're not the same amount of water? Why? That one's big. Oh, gotcha. Okay. 
So which one of these is longer, or are the same length? They're the same. They're the same length? Okay. So if I move this one, now which one's longer? Um, that one's longer. This one? Why would you say this one's longer than that one? You don't know? Well, okay, so if I slide them back down here, they're the same length, right? So does the length change when I pull this and move it up here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So this one's longer? Alrighty. Alright, so do these two balls of sand look the same? Yeah. They do? Okay. Now which one has more? They're the same? They still have the same amount of sand? Oh, they're not the same. Oh, okay. How come they don't have the same amount? Because that one's flat. So that means more sand? Okay, cool. We're almost done. So which one has more stuff on it? We got the donkey and squares. That's one picture. We got a donkey and squares on this picture. So which one of these two pictures has more stuff on it? Yeah. Um, or are they the same and why? They're the same. They are the same? Why are they the same? Because they got stripes. They got stripes? Yeah. Gotcha. So you're saying that this has the same amount of squares and the donkey as this one? Yes? Okay. Good job. So we'll call this row one of pennies and we'll call this row two. So which row has more? Or are they the same amount of pennies? They're the same. They're the same? Okay. So keep them lined up. Try not to bump them. Okay, so now... Now which... Stay still. Low. Okay. Now which line has more pennies in it? Row one or row two? One, two. Which one? This row? Gotcha. Okay, well, I'm trying to see which one do you think has more pennies in the row. So which row has more pennies? Does this one have more pennies, or does that one have more pennies? Or do they both have the same amount of pennies? They're the same. They are the same still? Why would you say that? Um, no, no. You don't know? Okay, well, you could go multiple ways with this. You could count them or you could look at them, but tell me why you think that. Um, can you just count them? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so which one has more, that one or that one? This row has more pennies than that one? Okay, why would you say that? So you're saying there's more of them together, so that's why there's more? Alrighty, good job. So obviously Landon showed egocentrism, which is basically a failure to see from other people's point of views. Um, he showed this first of all when I asked him if he had any siblings, and he said yes, he had a sister named Aletha. And then when I asked him if Aletha had any brothers or sisters, he said no. So that would be that, um, that failure to see from someone else's point of view. And um, he also showed egocentrism again with the toys. Um, because he could see both the toys himself, he assumed that the toys could see each other, which would not be the case because there was a barrier between them. Before age nine, uh, most children are at a pre-conventional level of moral development. Um, however, Landon actually hinted at being a little bit past that with um, Heinz's dilemma. Um, he was able to, in a sense, look past the law, um, what is legal and illegal, and uh, say what was right. Um, he was able to tell me that um, it was right for the man to steal the drug to save his wife's life. Um, so he was able to tell me that, even though he didn't know why. So that's why I say he hinted 
at the fact that he was past um, the pre-conventional level. Obviously, Landon uh, doesn't quite grasp the idea of conservation yet, um, and that was obvious with, first of all, the water test. Um, I poured uh, two equal cups of water, and then when I poured one of them into a bigger container, he assumed that that bigger container had more water in it. Um, so that shows that he doesn't quite grasp conservation yet. And again, with um, the sand and the string, um, I flattened the ball of sand, and he assumed that a flattened ball of sand meant more sand, even though they were exactly the same sized um, balls of sand to begin. So obviously Landon is in the pre-operational stage of uh, PJ's theory of cognitive development, which is pretty standard for his age range. He's four years old, and um, that pre-operational stage tends to range from between uh, two and six or seven. Thanks for watching.